All right, you recognize the yellow box, everybody. Yes, we're talking about serious player only again, but this time they have a new model and they're looking to take over the outdoor courts. So today, let's check out the serious player only game one. Let's get into it. What's going on, everybody? It's Mike from the Sneaker History Podcast, and we are back with another video. Guys, thank you so much for joining. If you hadn't done so already, or if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Leave a like, drop a comment. Yes, the same things I always ask you to do and all those other YouTubers ask, but it's really a big help because that little interaction that you have pushes the video to out through the algorithm to make sure more and more people see it. So it really is a big help, and I really do appreciate everyone who's done so and everyone who will do so in the future. So again, thank you. Now, you saw the intro already. I'm excited about this because this is one of my favorite new brands out there, Serious Player Only, and they're back with another basketball model, this time looking to take over both the outdoor and the indoor courts. So today we're looking at the Game 1 from serious player only and shout out to the family out there for sending this pair over for me to try out really do appreciate you guys but this is going to be a departure from their player one or player one plus that we looked at last time which definitely my favorite basketball shoot of the year i mean i know it's not december when those lists come out but i give you guys surprise this is my favorite basketball shoot of the year it took a little bit of a departure gave me a little something beefier a little something more rugged for a longer lasting performance if you're playing on those concrete courts and they did it well guys they did it well the game one really took kind of again gives you a new design you know a lot of people are like oh well these are just kobe's or these are just uh whatever it may be yes the player one plus was an ode a tribute to their basketball hero kobe bryant and some of his basketball models that's where the inspiration came from but now you can't say that because this is a whole new model guys and a game one is not short of just awesome now i haven't played in these just yet i just got these in and so i took them to the gym and just want to kind of fill them out as i was lifting but i am going to take these to the outdoor court so that's why i haven't gone out there yet i need to find time to go to the outdoor court because this is going to be my outdoor shoe and because of just how they built this and what the you know reason for this particular sneaker i feel like that's the best way to test it so we're gonna have a second video coming of me actually doing a performance review of this on an outdoor court. But I want to break it down so that way you guys can know exactly what you're looking at if you're looking to buy it, give you my first impressions. Now, first things first, again, you notice the departure from the traditional design of the player one. So you have both shoes here, very different. You can tell that this is gonna be a beefier sneaker. So right off the bat, I will let you know that the game one is gonna be a little heavier. Nothing that's gonna be debilitating by any means, but it's not as light as this, but for a purpose, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Now, with the upper of this sneaker is going to be a, a mixture of a, they call it TPE or TP and TPU like woven like mesh that is gonna give you that light but durable upper, very flexible, very soft on the foot so that way you're not getting like pinched. I know sometimes when they have this, you know, that different TPU like woven that mesh it can get a little pinchy in certain crease areas didn't have this issue because again all i didn't play basketball in it i did you know do my workout in them was moving around a lot had zero issues so just like the player one plus these do have a nice comfortable upper now you'll notice there's some more i guess points of i don't know what you want to call it containment per se i don't know just stronger points on it so these little triangles are going to give you just more strength around certain areas of the shoe again those high wear areas to make sure that you're you're locked into the sneaker at all times you're going to have your fuse across the toe box there preventing you know toe drag from killing the front of your shoe immediately and this particular color we're looking at is going to be the lavender so there's two colors right now it's going to be the lavender and the spider which i'll put up here those are going to be available right now on their website and continue to go up the shoe the eyelash is going to be done in a leather material leather and tpu so it's going to be let me see here yeah so it's leather backed with tpu which is a pretty solid way to do it to make sure that you have a nice material up top for your laces but also a strong material because you have both the leather and the tpu that's backing it to make sure nothing's ripping through and what i like about these laces is meant to be an adaptive fit so you see how it's just a lot of you got a lot of space between the top lace down all the way to the toe like you got a lot of lace you can work with to make sure that you are gonna lace these and tighten them the way your foot needs it to feel as opposed to just the shorter uh, number of eyelids. You get a lot of room here to work with and that's something that they've done on purpose. Again, that adaptive fit. Now going up the middle of the tongue, that is gonna be an open cell mesh or not an open cell, just open mesh. It is just gonna be a very open mesh. It's almost transparent at certain points, uh, but does have a nice cushion, sits on top of your foot very nicely. It's gonna have a leather patch going across the top, which is gonna give you that uh, one loop to stabilize your tongue it is going to also have a 
leather top of your tongue, leather, leather tag on the top with a, kind of a kind of like a terry cloth type material. It'll give you some real softness right at the, uh, the top and that lavender color as well. Laces are going to be that rope style lace that is going to be um, almost, you know what? It's a rope style lace, but it's almost, it has edges, it's almost boxed. It's almost like a box lace to make sure that it's not coming untied when you're playing, which is really cool. That's actually, I think the first time I've seen that before. I'll get close up so you guys can check that out because it has four edges to it, which is really cool. First time I really noticed that. Now getting to the inside of the shoe is going to be that textile that again, almost like terry cloth material on the inside done up in that lavender with this particular color. And of course you cannot have a serious player only shoe without the drop in midsole. It's going to have, this one came with the Evalon light. So the, the lighter setup, but all the drop in midsoles that they sell, all the ones that came with your player one plus they can fit in here. So if you guys already have other shoes from serious player only, and you want to drop in those midsoles, you like that one better use that. You can utilize that in these shoes. And that's awesome because it's just modular and interchangeable between all the shoes they're offering right now, which is super cool to me. Now you're going to have your serious player only branding right here on the lateral side written out and you're going to have their logo here on the medial side done up in that lavender color as well and they've really they really came in with the lockdown in this shoe because they went with a tpu oh i can't think of the name of this now my brain just shut off on me <laughs> oh man outrigger they had a tpu outrigger here to make sure you're not falling off the top of the shoe so felt good i felt locked into the sneaker when i put it in immediately but it didn't dig into my foot or anything like that. So it is going to be functional. It is going to lock you in and it's not going to hurt. So you're still comfort, you're comfortable inside the shoe. Now, of course, you're going to have your foam here, your EVA midsole, but you're also going to have this really cool, you can't see it, but it's called basically a dual cushioning system they have now where it is going to be a plate underneath the drop in midsole that is an EVA go cushion. So basically on top of the strobel, uh, or I guess, I'm trying to find the best way to put this. So it's an EVA strobel. That's the best way to put it. I, I don't know why I was trying to go deeper than that. It is they use an the EVA strobel to give you even more cushioning to give you just the most you can get out of the shoe, which is helpful, especially if you're playing outdoor because the courts outside are way harder than the ones you play inside of a gym typically. Now, along with the cushion, you're gonna have your carbon shank plate that is gonna be inside here. You got a little window to, to peek right there, but it's gonna be a carbon shank plate. That's gonna be about right, about that size, right kind of in the mid foot of, the, of, the, of your foot, or in the middle of your foot. Now the outsole is something I thought was really cool because they call it all-terrain style outsole. It is gonna be basically inspired by all-terrain tires. So you see a lot of deep traction, deep grooves, very aggressive herringbone with some linear in the middle. That's actually the uh, series player only branding there. And then you have some radial traction on the heel. So a lot of different, very aggressive um, traction to make sure that if you're using these on court, these are gonna last for a long time. And something you may have noticed looking at the two, there is way more rubber on this sneaker than you got on a Player One Plus because these are more for indoor use. But not only is it more rubber, it's a heavier rubber. So this one, if you hold both up, definitely gonna be a bit more bottom heavy with this sneaker because it is gonna be more geared towards outdoor use to give you that longer lasting uh, material as opposed to a softer, uh, slimmer rubber if you're using more indoor courts. Now you're also gonna have a TPU heel cup to keep you locked in on the back of the sneaker. This one's done up in a purple with the game one branding printed in there. And on top, you're gonna have more leather. It's gonna have the little lavender plant there. Uh, which is just a little extra touch. I love that kind of extra stuff they put on a sneaker. So that, that's really cool that they have that. Now, this sneaker will run true to size. It is a bit snug. So I, but that's how I feel basketball shoes should be. You want to be secure, but true to size, I think you should go on these. I would say try them on, but I don't, it's not possible to try them on and, you know, just go pick them up at a store at this point. But if you're going to order a pair, I say order the same size you have in the Player One, uh, Player One Plus. Player One Plus, order the same size you have in that one. Or if you have, a, again, I guess a, if you have a Kobe 11, Kobe 8, whatever size you ordered in that, get it in these. And I think these are definitely worth the price, especially for a shoe that has outdoor uh, uses. So it's $138 right now on their website with both colors that are available. Uh, so a little cheaper than a player one, but you're gonna get a, such a great use out of it. So I think it's a great value for so you can do both indoor and outdoor with without having to sacrifice the you know, basically burning through it in a couple plays. Very comfortable, something I would def definitely recommend. And I'm gonna do another, like again, a performance review with these on court. I wanna do an outdoor test on them. So it'll be a second video to follow up, but this is just, Again, overall, a fantastic sneaker. They're doing their thing over there. And now they're giving you options. So now we're, we're getting options. So they're just building and building upon what they have right now. So you guys can go with the slimmer model or the chunkier outdoor model. There's something for everybody at this point. 
But let me know what you guys think of the Serious Player Only Game 1. Do you like it? Do not like it? Did you grab a pair already when they release? Let me know down below. And until next time, guys, see ya.